hey what's up guys welcome back to my channel i know i've been in my head for a while but we'll talk about that in another video i am ready to jump into this video we're going to be doing a wash day with some products that i have not used before and that is the garnier hose blend honey treasure line and the camille rose honey hydrate leave-in so first I like to start off by wetting my hair. As you can tell from the first clip, my hair was a little dry and I didn't want to take my braids down on dry hair. The moisture from the water just helps with an easier takedown and less breakage and shedding. So once I've done taking out that first braid, I'm just going to run my hair under the water just to get it nice and saturated so that I can go in with the first product. I'm going to be using the repairing conditioner first. This is a new way for me to start my wash day, but it's very beneficial going in with the conditioner first. It helps with detangling the hair, getting any knots and kinks out before you go in with your shampoo because the shampoo does leave your hair feeling stripped. So by doing the conditioner first, I'll add it a little bit of moisture so that I don't fully strip my hair when I go into shampoo. This conditioner helps with detangling, moisturizing, smoothing, and volumizing the hair. And the ingredients consist of coconut, Moroccan argan oil, olive oil, and shea butter. And it's very thick and creamy and that's exactly what I like for my hair and it also strengthens and prevents split ends and breakage. The next few minutes are repetitive just going in with the repairing conditioner detangling and smoothing and I'll just continue to do that until I'm ready to start the shampooing process. So now I'm just going to be rinsing out this conditioner and then I'll start the shampooing process. Um, this conditioner left my hair feeling so soft. I wanted to leave it in but I had to rinse it out so I can start the shampoo. But I would definitely see myself using this as a leave-in base when I'm styling. So the shampoo that I'm going to be using is also from the Garnier Treasure line. And I normally shampoo in sections, but it just kind of makes the wash day a little bit longer. So I'm just going to shampoo my hair while I have the braids still in my hair. And I'm only going to be shampooing my scalp. And that's because I just feel like my scalp and the top of my head is the dirtiest part of my hair. And that my ends will eventually get cleansed while once I rinse out the shampoo this shampoo was actually really moisturizing and it didn't leave my hair feeling like it was stripped it actually felt really soft once I rinsed my hair out and yes that is hair that you see behind me there I like to prevent my hair from going down the drain so I just kind of put it on the wall until I'm done with my wash day now I'm going in with the repairing mask and this mask helps with repairing and dry damaged hair. So as you can see the consistency of this deep conditioner is very thick which I like for my hair. I like all of my deep conditioners very thick and with a lot of slip and this gave me exactly what I was looking for. So I'm just going to be putting this all over my hair and let me tell y'all this deep conditioner is the truth i never had a deep conditioner have my hair looking the way that it's going to be looking y'all look at the curls look at the curls it's they popping 
like I don't know what to say I don't know what else to say like my curls is popping y'all just I didn't even even put any heat on my hair yet and my curls are already looking like this so just imagine what it's gonna look like afterwards but I'm gonna be deep conditioning off camera I'm using heat and right now I'm just detangling my hair just to further get any knots and kinks out if there's any which it really wasn't after I put this deep conditioner in but that's what I'm doing here and I'm gonna stop talking right now Okay, it's time to sit under the dryer. I'm gonna be doing that for 30 minutes as I mentioned before and I'll see you guys in a little bit. So this is what my hair looks like before I rinse out the deep conditioner, very moisturized. And I must say, I think this may be a new favorite product of mine. I really like the way my hair felt once I rinsed out the conditioner and it was just so nice and smooth and soft. My hair never felt this moisturized before so i really do like the product now moving on to what i thought would be the last step in my routine is the camille rose honey hydrate leave-in conditioner i was not able to find the leave-in that pairs with the rest of the collection so i went with what i thought would be the next best thing Although this leave-in left my hair super shiny and defined, I didn't like how it felt afterwards. It kind of felt like it could be used as a styling product. Like my base would be a thicker leave-in and then I would follow up with this product as the styler. So I went ahead and added another leave-in after I um, put this on because I just didn't like how my hair my hair felt. It just didn't feel very moisturized like I would have liked it to be, but it did add shine and it did define my curls really well. So that's why I said I would use this as a styler other than just uh, actual leave-in by itself. But I really wanted to love this product alone, but I would definitely have to pair it with another product. This is what my hair looks like before I added the other leave-in conditioner. Very curly, very shiny, very defined, which I absolutely love, but I just need my hair to feel how it actually looks. Also, if you guys would like to see me try out a wash and go, leave me some comments down below. And overall, I'm really satisfied with all of the products. I'll try my best to insert them all down in the description box and they are all very affordable I purchased mine at Walmart and also if you guys would like for me to try out any different hairstyles or anything just um, leave me some comments down below as well or you can DM me on Instagram at Lanya underscore Nicole and just Throw me out some ideas that you like to see, some hairstyles that you like me to try, and I'll try my best to get them done for you guys. Also, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video, and also subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you will not miss any of my future videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye, guys.